हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू इंडस्ट्री लर्निंग एंड टुडे इन दिस सेशन बेसिकली आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बैंड अलावेंस सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अराइजेज वाई बेसिकली वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग बैंड अलावेंस सो द आंसर इज सिंपल लाइक सपोज वी आर हैविंग अ कंपोनेंट लाइक दिस एंड हेयर देर इज सम बैंड सो फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द ब्लैंक लेंथ फॉर दिस बैंड पर्सन वी हैव टू मेक वन स्ट्रेट ब्लैंक राइट and from that blank only we can make this portion this bend using bending tool so uh, here we have to calculate the length of blank so that length of blank will nothing but the complete of length of this uh, parts this portion to this portion that is l1 and this portion to this portion that is l2 and this portion that is at neutral axis this is l n1 so uh, if we calculate the blank length then lb is equal to l1 plus l2 plus ln1 so l1 is quite simple this is a straight portion this one l2 is quite simple this is the next straight portion here but what about this ln1 this the arc of this bend so this simply cannot be calculated right so for that we have to use the formula and that is only the portion from here to here at neutral axis is called band allowance so what is the neutral axis so let us understand that also suppose we are having a flat sheet like this and uh, we are going to bend it so after bending it will be somewhat like this got it so now we are having two length now one length is outer length from here to here that is lo and another length that is internal li so this will be from here to here right so when we compare this, suppose this is the initial length l so when we compare this lo will definitely greater than original length l right as well as if i talk about the li then li that is internal length is lesser than original length l because in upper length there is elongation in uh inner length or lower length there is compression right so that's why elongated portion is more and uh, compressed portion is lesser so definitely if we talk about from lesser to greater then definitely at somewhere one line will be there that will be equal to original length l so say that line as a neutral line ln is equal to l so that is only called neutral line or neutral axis so now let's move forward and see this in detail so you can see here one uh, examples like that so now let us see here what we have discussed earlier so for this bend portions we are going to develop a blank length and for that we have to calculate that is like l1 so from here to here l1 and uh, this l2 so l2 is this one from here to here and uh, this portion this uh, bend portion will have ln so that is from here to here ln so now the total length l will be l1 plus ln plus l2 so this will be the length of blank length of blank so here l1 is straight portion l2 is straight portion but if i talk about the ln then this is nothing but bend allowance so this bend allowance can be calculated using a formula that is pi by 180 into theta into ri that is internal radius plus k factor that is a constant we will discuss how to calculate this k and t t sheet thickness so if i talk about this theta then this theta is nothing but band angle so what is that let us discuss here suppose this sheet was straight earlier and now this is the band portion so how much angle this has made this angle is basically theta so basically when you will calculate this or you will compare then you will find then when you are when you are going to draw a perpendicular line so the angle here this is same equal is if you say this phi then phi equal to theta so you can compare this and this angle will basically uh, used here as a bend angle so this is pi theta by 180 into ri plus kt ri is internal radius this is what this internal radius if uh, this portion is like bend this is internal bend and this is internal radius so what about the external radius this is external radius so here you are using the just internal radius ri so now let's discuss about this k factor so this k factor 
is directly depend upon bend radius so when bend radius r is less than 2t means two times of sheet thickness that time we will take the value of k as a 0. Point, k is equal to 0. 0.33 and uh, when radius uh, will be between 2t to 4t means less than or equal to 4 times of t and greater than or equal to 2t that time we will consider k is equal to 0. 0.4 and the third condition when r is greater than 40 so that time we will consider k is equal to 0. 0.5 so these are the three criteria that we have to follow and based upon that we can always consider the value of k so take an example suppose radius r is equal to 2 so sheet thickness is equal to 1 mm so in that condition we can see that radius is two times means 2t so in that condition when this is equal to 2t that time kr k is equal to 0.4 so here we will consider 0.4 as a value of k so now everything is clear we have understood about we have got about the theta this is internal radius this is k factors and this is sheet thickness right so based upon that we can calculate band allowance so now let's see some examples so let us discuss the blank length calculation with uh, this example so we can see here we have uh, some straight portion this one this one and this one so that is l1 l2 and l3 so basically that is given here l1 l2 and l3 t is basically sheet thickness and r1 and r2 is the internal radius of consecutive band so this one is r1 you can say here and uh, so this one is r1 and uh, this is r2 so basically r1 is internal uh, radius of this first band and uh, r2 is internal radius of this second band so now uh, and again theta1 is the band angle for this first uh, band and theta2 is the band angle for this second band so now let's calculate the uh, blank length so for calculating the blank length we have to sum up all this individual length and uh, finally then l will be l1 plus this ln1 plus l2 plus ln2 plus l3 so this will be the total blank length so here l1 l2 and l3 already given as this is a straight portion while developing the blank we can measure it directly but this ln1 and ln2 we have to calculate ln1 and ln2 so let us calculate the ln1 first so ln1 is basically a band allowance first band allowance here so this is uh, uh, as per the formula pi by 180 into theta into internal radius plus k into sheet thickness t so here pi is 3.14 divided by 180 into theta that is 90 and then ri that is in first internal radius we are calculating about this portion so this is uh, 5 we can see here r1 is 5 plus the k factor so k factors as per uh, uh, the condition we have seen in previous slide that when r is greater than 40 then k will be 0 0.5 so here we can see that r is 5 times of t right 5 times of t so basically here it will be 0 0.5 into sheet thickness that is 1 right so after calculating this we will find this 8.37 so this will be the first band allowance ln1 now we have to calculate ln2 also so for that again we will use the same formula 3.14 divided by 180 into angle so now the angle is 45 degree here, theta 2 so into 45 in bracket internal radius that is 2.5 plus now as per uh, the condition when uh, radius is 2.5 times uh, of shift thickness means this is lying in uh, center means greater than 2t and less than 40 so we will take the value of k as 0.4 so this is uh, 0.4 into sheet thickness 1 so after calculating this will be 2.27 so 
so finally all this value now we have ln1 ln2 and uh, l1 l2 l3 here so as per calculations and uh, given value we can find out the blank length that is uh, 25 that is the value of l1 plus ln1 that is 8.37 8.37 plus l2 that is 50 plus ln2 that is uh, we have calculated 2.27 plus l3 that is 30 so so the total value will be 115.64 so this is the total blank length so like this we can calculate so this is for your practice calculate the blank length and uh, uh, write down in comment box so see you next session that's all for today thank you so don't forget to like and subscribe that's all. Thank you.